Hi everybody and welcome back to another Sailor Moon review. Today I have the entire Girls Memories figures line. This is all 10 figures that came out for Sailor Moon. I didn't collect these one at a time. I decided while I was looking on eBay one day somebody was selling the entire set together and I was like well that is the best way to get these probably because they kind of differ in range when you buy them individually. But I wanted to open these all together in one giant video because I thought that'd be amazing. So I'll show you the boxes. The boxes are pretty standard on these. So here's the Sailor Moon one. And she's in pink. And there's nothing much to look at. There's some motif designs on the side and pretty Guardian Sailor Moon and then all the copyright stuff. But there's not really too much to look at. The boxes are pretty simple. There are the Moon Kingdom on the first five, I do believe. So the outer boxes are a little bit different. But there is Moon, and here is Mercury. And as you can see, it's just a different color is all on those. And then Mars. And they are posed like the end of their transformations. So they all go together really, really well, I think. I've been waiting on these for a while. I got the first five, including Pluto, in one shipment. And then I was waiting for the rest of them to come in. But they were accidentally shipped to the wrong state. But I eventually tracked them down and I got them all finally today. So I'm really eager to get them all opened. So that is the first five. And then we have Shibby Moon, and she's got a bunch of hearts behind her, which I thought was kind of cool. And full box spin there. Now this does have the Moon Kingdom on the top as well. So the boxes are made to look like they all go together. Now I think these ones are the first ones they changed because these ones have the planetary symbols on the side for the first five and these ones have the outer symbols on them instead but other than that they're still pretty much the same still have the moon kingdom at the top and here is uranus or uranus whichever and as you can see they're all pretty much the same <laughs> But I wanted to show you the boxes because the boxes are part of the product, I think. Now this one, I don't know why, they took a lot of time, the seller did, to make sure I got really good boxes. But this one has a whole bunch of miscellaneous tape on the sides. And I tried to get that off, but it's impossible. So it's going to have to stay on there. I intend to open these, obviously, anyways, and display them outside their boxes because they don't have any window. You can't see the figure or nothing. So I want to uh, see what these look like. Now, Pluto seems like she's just a little bit heavier than the other ones for some reason. But I'm gonna open up the first five and then I'm going to open up the other ones so we can see what all of these look like. So of course, let's start with Sailor Moon. So here she is, and she comes in several pieces, kind of like the cube poskets, because these are prize figures as well. So if you collect the cube poskets, then you'll know what I'm talking about, but they seem to always come in several pieces. So let's get her together. So here is Sailor Moon. I got her all together. And she comes in this really wide stand. So I saw the stands online. I thought they were quite large. <laughs> and look how big that thing is. So they do take up a little bit of space, I'd say. And that could be a 
kind of a problem in some people's collections. I tried to make some space for these in my collection, so hopefully I succeeded and there's going to be enough room for every one of these. But she is really nice and cute, just like in the classic anime. She's got all the right colors. For some reason on my camera, her skirt looks more navy blue, but it's actually a little bit lighter in person. But not too much. It's still pretty much navy blue on red. So I think her outfit may be just a little bit too dark. And I didn't see any problems with her paint that I could tell. I mean, there just seems like there's a little spot below her nose, but nothing too major. When I was looking her over while putting her together. But her outfit is really nice. It does have some nice layers to it. She's a very simple figure, so I do kind of like that. I know being simple too, she's going to be inexpensive, so. The Odangos on top and her ponytails and everything were really easy to put together. They just kind of fit in there. And they're made so you can't accidentally put the wrong one in the wrong side. Her uh, tiara is metallic paint and her little moons and stuff are all metallic. And the base, of course, has lots of detail with her name on it and moon symbol. The paint on her moon symbol on here is not great. But since there's not like a whole bunch of uh, darkness to the paint, it's not really that noticeable. But it does have the same kind of motif that's on the boxes, which I thought was kind of cool. It does have the planetary symbols for the inner guardians here all along the bottom as well. So yeah. I do think this is a really awesome figure. Now, instead of doing time lapses on each one of these, I'm just going to go ahead and open every single one and then show them to you at the end. Because otherwise, it's going to be in a crazy long video. But I will show you what they look like before I put them together and then after I put them together. All right, guys, so here they all are. I've got them all put together and assembled. Now, I will say that these look amazing displayed. From afar, they look absolutely perfect. But if you do look up really closely, I did notice a lot of paint issues, some smudging, some chipping, and some dark spots of like, it almost seemed like dirt or dust. I couldn't get it off. I did wipe all these down with a light rag and really look them over really well. That way I can explain to you guys exactly their quality right down to a T. Now I did show you Sailor Moon. I didn't see anything too outrageously bad or anything. Sailor Moon I already kind of explained to you guys how she looks. Now here is Mercury and her pose is quite nice. I think all the colors and everything work well for her. Now her stand is not quite the right color blue. I think it should have been more, I mean, I guess darker blue perhaps because it's kind of teal and I think it needed to be more of this color or perhaps this color here. But as far as paint job with her, I thought she was one of the better ones. I didn't see anything too bad. Now I'm going to try to show you guys a little bit of her boots here. I did notice that the paint on her boots there you go. The paint on her boots isn't perfect. You kind of see kind of a splotchiness to it. It might just be the 
molding, perhaps, and not so much the paint job, just the way she popped out of the mold. The lines aren't perfect on these, but those are very, very minor problems. But her face looks really perfect. She looks really beautiful. Very nice likeness of Mercury. And, but on the back here, I did notice there was some paint issues right there. So it's not too perfect back there. But I still think she's one of the better ones. Now we'll move on to Mars. So here is Mars. Now her face is kind of odd to me. It's not a big deal, but her face does seem kind of odd. Like her um, eyes are kind of interesting. Her costume I thought was painted pretty well. I didn't see anything major with it. Now just like Mercury, she was one piece out of the bag. I only had to put her stand on. Her shoes are almost perfect. There's like a slight paint mishap here. It's something I might be able to work out. And there's some paint chippage here on her shoe. But I don't think anything too major. I just didn't like her face nearly as much as I'd like the Mercury one. Her hair is really nice though. Really detailed. And she does have her earrings and all that. There is some paint smudging right here, like a white paint smudge, but I might be able to fix that. Here's her stand. Does have her uh, symbol there in the middle and all the inners symbols around the base. That's something to look forward to on the stands. They put their symbol in the center and put the rest of the inners along the base. So I thought that was a nice little touch. Next we'll do Jupiter. Now Jupiter's face isn't too bad, but it is kind of goofy to me. <laughs> kind of silly in a way. I do absolutely love her hair. It's really long and flowing. I think it's a little too long for her, but I absolutely love it. But it does have her um, back of her collar hair kind of flowing. I thought that was nice. It does have the little tails in the front and it does have her hands positioned perfectly. Now this one I had to put both of her arms on, but they're made so you don't accidentally put the wrong arm in. Her bow isn't that greatly painted. It's kind of off, but it's not a big deal, I guess. There is a little bit of a paint spludge right here. That's not really great. Now the stand, I thought her stand didn't pop out as much as some of the other ones. I think this green should have been a darker green and not this like lime green. <laughs> it's kind of hard on the eyes. I think it shows up like that a bit too much on the camera. It's definitely a bit darker in person than it's showing on the camera, but I, I do think it's a little too light. So there is Jupiter. Next is Venus. Venus looks pretty nice in the face. It's kind of I don't know, I think her, her mouth should have been down, maybe just a hair lower. I think she's got too much chin going on. <laughs> but her um, little bow here with her little gem on it is a little bit paint smudged, I noticed. It's not perfect. It could be something that you could fix yourself. You're, um, you got the right kind of paint. Her hair in the back and her bow looks pretty awesome. I did like it. I didn't find anything too outrageous with it. Now, there was one little spot here in the front. It's hard to pick up on the camera, so it's definitely not a big deal. But there is a little bit of a dirt smudge right there I tried to fix, but it doesn't seem like it wants to come off. Skirt. Her legs do have a little bit of a dirt smudge here and there. I tried to get off. And her shoes are okay. Then her base is the same kind of, I don't know if they just couldn't figure out what colors to use, but I think it's like too yellow. It definitely should have been a darker orange for sure. I guess that maybe they wanted it to stand out from her costume maybe. 
I don't know. I'm not sure of their uh, color choices on the stand. It's definitely hard to read because it's so light. So I don't know. So there's Venus. And we'll move on to Chibi Moon. And I thought she was really pretty. But I was a bit sad. Her glove here is got a huge smudge and chip on it. So that might be something I'll fix eventually. Her costume is kind of dirty too. I tried to clean it, but I'm going to try to use a magic eraser later on and try to see if I can clean it up a little bit more. But it definitely looks dirty. And so much for her glove up here. <laughs> it's the same kind of way. She's still really cute and I hope I can clean her up a little bit more. These I assume are brand new figures right out of the boxes. They didn't say that they were used, they said they were brand new. But here is her stand and I like the color they chose for the stand. You can see it better. It does have the inners. It does not have Sailor Moons I guess. They put a few hearts in hers to signify it's Chibi Moon and not Sailor Moon. So there she is. Now we'll work on the outers. We'll start with Sailor Saturn. Now Saturn was a bit difficult to put together. I actually had to kind of put my fingernail in there and slide her staff in. It doesn't come apart. It's one full piece, so it's a little bit challenging. Just gotta be careful with that. But she was one full piece as a figure. I just had to put her little staff on her in her hand. But here is her face. I think she's okay. I don't see any issues with the way her face is. And her costume actually was pretty nicely painted. Even down to her boots. I didn't see any issues with that. Her staff did come a little bent, but I guess you can work with it. But it looked pretty nice as well. I didn't see any problems with it. And then her stand is the perfect color I think as well. I did notice that it does have all the outers on here and then it does have Saturns twice. But it's probably because they are the outers and there's only four of them. So there is Saturn. Now we'll do Uranus or Uranus. Again I found that the outers had the better paint job because they came out later. They might have taken a little bit more time with their design and paint, but I found them to be the best ones. They even had a different color paint on the backs of her shoes down here. So they did a little bit more on the detail for sure. I thought her face looked pretty perfect. And her hair looks awesome. They did a really good job with this particular figure. And it does have her name down there and the symbols. And I like the color they chose with the details. I didn't see anything wrong with this particular figure. I thought she looked pretty, pretty awesome. So now on to Neptune. Um, there's definitely something off about her face, but it's not a big deal to me. It's just, it just seems kind of off in some shape or form. I don't know what it is exactly. Her hair looks okay. I think they could have added a bit more detail to her hair than they did give it, but I don't know. <laughs> you just have the choker and it does have the medallion on it and it's perfectly painted in. Her hands look amazing. They did a really good job with the hand positions and detailing on the hands. And then her skirt all the way around and her back bow. And then her shoes. And everything seemed to be really nicely painted on this figure. And then this is a perfect color, I think, for her stand. Definitely pops out. You can definitely see it really well. But yeah, pretty awesome. And lastly, we have Pluto. And she is the heaviest of them all. She has a bit of weight to her. I actually kind of like it because then she's not going to slide off or fall down really easily. Her face looks really pretty. I like this figure a lot. She does have a little bit of a little dirt spot on her cheek there. I'm not quite sure 
why that is. Her hair looks phenomenal. It actually does have a little bit of a highlight to it. Some of the other ones, there's not much color difference. They're all kind of solid colors in their hair, but this one actually has some different tone to it. Her staff is actually two pieces, so it was a little easier to get on her hand. Slide it up through into her hand and then put the top on. So that was a lot easier. I think they definitely pulled out a little bit more of the stops on this particular figure. So then you can actually get her st staff on her hand a little bit easier. Her costume is pretty awesome. I didn't see any paint issues with it. And then her shoes. Now there is a little bit of a s little bit of dirt right here. I'm not sure if I can get that off or not, but I'm going to try with the magic eraser. And then her stand is kind of like a gray, a little bit of a dark gray. And her shoe is made to go over top of the symbol a little bit, which I thought was kind of interesting because she's the only one that's like that. The rest of them are positioned perfectly in this open area, but hers goes right over the symbol. There she is. So that is the entire collection of the Girls Memories figures. And these are prize figures that came out by Ben Presto. All the boxes do have Toei stickers on the very top that I forgot to actually point out they are there and I think these are really worth collecting I really enjoyed opening each one of these and seeing how they look I'm a little bit disappointed in some of the paint jobs but it's not something that I'm really too concerned about I do recommend these I do think they're worth it but just be aware that if you're looking for high-end figures I'd say go with the figure arts or Tomashi Nations figures I think they're some of the better ones but thank you guys for checking out my video today. I hope you liked it. So if you did like it, please hit the like button if you don't mind. And uh, definitely leave a comment. Let me know what you think of these and if you plan to collect them. And if you have any additional questions about them as well, I can try to help you out. But thanks again for watching and I will see you guys next time. All right, bye.